Just going to show you real quick how to change the radiator on a 1989 Honda Prelude. Mine's carbureted, but I think this uh, same procedure should apply to your 90, no, sorry, uh, third generation uh, Honda Preludes, whether it's carbureted or fuel injected. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to have all your tools over here. You're going to get your flat blade screwdriver. If you want um, a 10 millimeter wrench or 10 millimeter socket, I would have both. If it was me, I would I would have both because that would be uh, highly useful. A three quarter wrench, three quarter inch, uh, or the equivalent in millimeters, and a seven eighths wrench. So. That's about all you need to really do the job. It's a pretty simple job, actually. So there's several ways to start this, but I'll just show you uh, some really good things to do to have better access. So right here, you're going to see uh, two 10 millimeter uh, bolts here. Just undo those. So get those two out of the way. Put them over here. Get this one here. There's one 10 millimeter here, one 10 millimeter here. I just put them there in the middle so they don't fall out when I show you what's going on um, right here you have an eight millimeter or you can use a flathead like I said it's optional just undo that one there okay over here you have another eight millimeter the other end of the hose just undo that there set it off up here the way you took it off make it easy to remember how it went on uh, might not even matter right here you have a little weird clip thing I just I'm gonna replace it with a, a hose clamp because it's kind of it's a weird thing but I just used a a uh, what do you call it oh yeah that's another thing you want is um, you want to have uh, where did I put those things oh sorry the needle nose over here I just use a needle nose to just kind of finagle it off and uh, it's kind of like a little clip that holds it in place so it's right next to the radiator cap. Just undo that there. Okay, we'll go put our thing back. Okay, so after you do that, now you can see this plate right here. You have one, two, three, four. See that plate? Um, if you undo those t uh, four painted uh, 10 millimeter things, you'll You'll be able to move this thing. You'll be able to jiggle this uh, tray that sits on top of the radiator. And it'll basically be able to uh, give you access to uh, move the radiator and manipulate it out of here. So that's basically just giving us room. Um, you're going to have four 10 millimeters holding on the fan, one here. So I'll just do that, I already undid that. And one over here, on the other end. You'll see it. I'll take those, send them off over here. And you'll have two more down there. See, uh, this is a new radiator. Uh, but you see, you'll, you'll have one right there. And then on the other side, you'll be able to go down to the bottom and see it. Let's go down to the bottom here. We have it's right, let this thing, it's not hard to see, well it might be hard to see on the video, but see it's right here, see right here where the, uh, the radiator sits, here's a little rubber grommet that your radiator sits that protects the bottom of the radiator from the, the metal, there's a grommet, and right next to it is the 10 millimeter Bolt. It's already taken out, so that's why you can't see it here, but it's here at the end of my fingernail. So anyway, once you undo those four fan bolts, they're 10 millimeter, I suggest just using a wrench. Up here you can do uh, sockets, uh, power tools, and get it off easy. But on the bottom, I would suggest using a wrench because it's a little harder to access, but it's really nothing. So you'll be able to manipulate this fan out. And you can't just pull the fan all the way out, uh, unfortunately. There's a little electrical connector that's kind of holding, see all the way there at the bottom. You'll be able to see this electrical connector just to the right of 
the bottom radiator hose. So that electrical connector, you're gonna have to use like, uh, I just use my fingers to squeeze the little tab and just pull it off. And once a little electrical connector comes off, you don't even have to connect the power, disconnect, you don't have to disconnect the power and, uh, and ground from this fan. Once you disconnect that little thing, once you disconnect that connector, you could kind of set the fan off to the side. It's just giving me trouble because it knows, sorry about that, it's just giving me trouble because it knows I'm doing a YouTube video right now or else it wouldn't be such a pain. So anyway, once you undo that, you you, you can actually uh, undo that, that fan connector, but I couldn't figure out uh, how to disconnect it, so I just moved it off to the side. And um, the last thing you're gonna have to do, well, the last thing you have to do is that bottom radiator hose down there, you would want to use one of, what's that special tool? You can use um, regular pliers, but I have these uh, for the hose clamps, you know, this special tool here, the little thing moves around and uh, use that to disconnect the bottom radiator hose. Cause I have one of those clips that's like a pain if you don't have regular, but it can be done, it can be done. So uh, the last thing is, see where I, where I disconnected that little connector earlier? Notice how this thing looks kind of old. It's a, it is a sensor. It's a sensor that goes inside the radiator. So I was looking at it and I was really confused. Uh, let's go to the, the old radiator over here. The old radiator, it was already in here, but I noticed that the new radiator just had a little thing that looked a lot like this, right? You just unscrew it. And once you unscrewed that, you saw this hole on the new radiator. And basically you need to take off that little sensor. And um, over here, um, that sensor, you have to take it off with a, um, seven eighths, seven eighths, uh, wrench or like an adjustable crescent wrench. You can just take it off and, uh, put it on there. And then once you do that, that, that sensor comes off. I just put like some, I don't know if I should have done that or not, but I'm going to take a chance on it. I put some of that, uh, Teflon tape uh, that you use for plumbing. Uh, over here some of that Teflon tape on the threads and just put it back in there I know some people say that that Teflon tape doesn't belong. It doesn't have a place anywhere inside automobiles You shouldn't do that, but Anyway, I connected that in there and then once you once you disconnect that that sensor down there You could put in the put the, the that sensor in the the new radiator and Then after you do that and disconnect that hose you'll be able to, to pull this radiator out. And then just do everything reverse of insulation. Uh, one quick tip before um, I finish the video. This thing right here, um, you want that, uh, that other wrench I told you, the three quarters. You wanna have the three quarters and just undo this little nozzle right here. I don't know what its function is, but it wasn't used on the old radiator, so I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to leave it the way it came with that little plastic tip at the end. But you want to loosen this three-quarter thing, three-quarter inch uh, hose, and that'll give you room to like manipulate this radiator into place. Because if you don't loosen that thing, it's going to be uh, in the position that it's in, that it came in the box, and it's going to make it really hard to get your radiator in here. So I just loosened it, and right now that I got it in and it's below this groove right here. Now that it's in place, uh, now I'm gonna screw it in. Now that I got my new radiator in, and I'll just connect everything in reverse of uh, rem the way I removed it the first time. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, next few videos I make should be a little better quality uh, using a GoPro instead of a phone. Thank you for watching.